Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and you are watching Chrissy's Craft Room. You probably are here because of the title of this video. So we're going to just jump right in, talk about what we're going to be doing today. And I'm really, really excited because guys, this is like my number one seller. This is my most popular tumbler um, ever since I've opened up my Etsy shop and started releasing tumblers. So today you're actually going to get a really awesome technique, I think, and it's something that you can add to your shop if this is something that you haven't done already. This is something that you really wanted to know, like, how the heck do people do this technique? Then keep on watching because today we are going to be showing you how I get my Sunflower Crackle Tumbler. So this is what we're gonna be working on today, and this is the effect that we are going to be creating. We're going to be doing a really awesome crackle effect. I'm going to show you how to apply the sunflower water slide and the whole nine. So this is actually a 20 ounce Ozark tumbler, but we're gonna be working with a 30 ounce Ozark tumbler. So I'm really excited to show you guys, and if you're excited and you wanna see how to create this tumbler, then keep on watching. All right guys, so before we dive into the actual tutorial, let's go through the different supplies that we're going to need today. So if you wanna do this with me, then let's go through the list of supplies so you can grab them and we can do this together. Of course, you're going to need your 30 ounce tumbler or 20 ounce. You can even do this on a smaller, like low ball tumbler, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, whatever tumbler size you decide to work with, this technique can work for you. So don't really focus on the size tumbler. You don't need a 30 ounce tumbler. You can use any tumbler size you want. But we're gonna be working with, or I'm gonna be working with a 30 ounce tumbler. So go ahead and grab your tumbler. You're also going to need your spray paint. And today I am going to be using our flat black and I use the Krylon. I also use rust -Oleum, but this is the one I have today, so this is what we're gonna be using. And like um, I mentioned before about the tumbler size, you don't have to use black. This is what I'm going to be using today because when I create the crackle effect, what I want to show underneath is black. But you can use blue, pink, red, green, whatever color you wanna use that you want to show through. So if you want red, to be showing through the cracks, then grab some red spray paint. If you want blue to show through the cracks, then grab some blue. But today I'm going to be using black, okay? And the other thing you're going to be needing is your crackle medium. So the crackle medium we have today is the Folk Art Home Decor Crackle Medium, and I actually purchased this on Amazon. I believe you can get this at Walmart, you can get this at Michael's, probably Hobby Lobby, Joann's, I don't know. But any craft store or anywhere that you can find like paints and stuff like that, you can find this. I just purchased it on Amazon because I like just getting things shipped to me, so I purchased this. And um, there's also another technique going around with Elmer's glue, but um, we're gonna be using this and maybe we'll do Elmer's glue. Another. So you're also going to need your apple barrel paint or white paint, whichever paint you decide to use. Again, we're going to be doing white today, but like I said, that goes with the spray paint, you can use whatever top coat you want. So you can use any other color that you want for this technique, but we are going to be using white, and apple barrel white matte acrylic paint so that's what's going to go on top of the um black spray paint to create the crackle so this is the paint that's going to be crackling on top of the crackle medium so you're going to need your paint and then of course you're going to need your paint brush so don't forget your paintbrush, don't forget your paint, and that's pretty much all we need for right now. So let's just hop on in. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see everything that I'm doing. And yeah, I hope you guys are excited. Let's jump right in. All right guys, so we are back, and in front of us is everything that I mentioned previously before. These are everything that you need to create this tumbler. So you see we have the Krylon Flat Black. I wanted you guys to get a closer look in case you didn't see. 
what it looks like um, in the other clip. So here's the flat black, here's the crackle medium, the white acrylic paint, the tumbler, and then our paintbrush. And I actually forgot to mention that you also need your sandpaper. And the grit that I'm using is 120. It's a medium grit. You can purchase this at Walmart. They have them in really big sheets and I just cut little sheets because you want to always, always prep your tumbler. If you look closely here, you can see I already did that. I just sanded it down until I, um, you know, started smelling that metal smell and scratched it up really nice to give the um, spray paint something to adhere to. So once you've already sanded your tumbler, you're going to want to go wash it off with some soap and water, um, get all that dust and particle and nasty stuff off of your tumbler, and then we're going to spray paint it with the flat black spray paint. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back to hop into the next step. Okay, so we are back and I just finished spray painting the tumbler. Um, you can see that it is freshly spray painted. There are a few areas that still need to dry, like over here you can see it's a little bit wet. But I wanted to show you guys that I just spray painted the tumbler, um, tried to get it as even as I could, made sure to cover the bottom. I'm going to put this to the side, let it dry fully, and <laughs> I got some spray paint on my arm. Um, and then once this is fully dry, we're gonna go in with our crackle medium and I'll show you just how to apply this in a second. Okay, so we are back with our tumbler that is fully, fully dry. Now I went ahead and grabbed a sponge brush because I showed you all this brush before. Um, and then what I realized was I wanted to use this one for the acrylic paint and this one for the crackle medium. You wanna make sure that your crackle medium goes on really nice, even and smooth. Um, so I wanted to use the sponge brush. I feel like along with giving good coverage, it's easier to kind of smooth out. And then I like that this is a wider brush for the acrylic paint. So I went ahead and grabbed a disposable cup. I put a small tiny bit amount of the crackle medium. You can see that it's like a, a um, kind of like whitish tinge to the medium. It's not clear, but it's not fully opaque. So I just went ahead and put a tiny little bit in the cup because you do not need a lot. And then I'm gonna just take this brush and dip it in, okay? And once that is in, I'm gonna just put it to the side now that you see, and we're gonna just paint it on the tumbler. That's all. The good thing about the black is that you can see exactly where you put it. Um, and then I went ahead and also placed down some bubble wrap just in case any of this um, medium spilled. I didn't wanna mess up my nice little furry background. So I'm gonna just go over the entire tumbler with this medium until it's fully coated. We're gonna let it dry 100% and then we'll move on to the next step. coated the entire tumbler you're gonna want to let that fully dry so I'm gonna put this to the side let it dry and we'll be right back with the next step okay so we're back and our crackle medium is all dry now and I went ahead and put my acrylic paint into another disposable cup clean cup 
Um, I put a little bit of acrylic paint there at the bottom and now I grabbed this paintbrush. This is the paintbrush I'm going to use. It's clean, dry, and so I'm just going to put this over to the side here on a more stable um, base and just dip my paintbrush into that paint and start coating the entire tumbler. Now here is where you want to start going fast because your paint will start crackling right away, okay? And um, you want to try and make it even, as even as possible, and you want to just move quickly, okay, so that you don't pull away any of the paint. Now I got a little bit here. You see what happened there? That it kind of pulled away from the um, surface of the tumbler. So here, I'm just gonna move fast. And hopefully not too fast that you guys can't see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. And as the paint on top dries, you will see, now let's do the bottom. As the paint dries, you'll see that it starts to crackle. And I may have to speed up this part for you guys. Just cleaning up some excess here. And the good thing about using this technique is that um, you see we have some really nice crackling going on over here. There's some areas that it was a little bit thick and I tried working really fast but I noticed that with that paintbrush it was a little bit stiff and so when I went over certain areas it started tugging like over here but um, I'm not too worried about it like you see that there's a little chunk over here as it dries and once it's fully dry I'll just flake that away and the great thing about using this technique is that it's crackle and so there's no in my opinion wrong or right way to do this and then we're going to be putting sunflowers over this so any areas that may not be like perfect or have enough coverage I may just slap on a um, sunflower around those areas and let's see if I can go in with a little bit more paint here on this side I don't know let's see how it's gonna go just to see if we can get a little more crackling there here Stop messing with it. Okay. All right, so like I said, as it starts to dry, you start seeing a lot of the crackle here and here, and any areas that may have some imperfections like here on top and here, we're gonna be adding some sunflowers to it so you can you can see the bottom there has a really pretty crackle as well and then once this is fully dry what I'm gonna do is put a coat of resin on top okay to give it a nice shiny smooth coat of resin once the resin is fully cured I'm gonna come back and I'm going to show you how to apply the sunflower water slides and then we'll do another coat of resin and that's pretty much it we'll add some sparkles to the resin to give it a nice little pretty sheen and that's how easy this technique is so this is part one of the crackle some sunflower tumbler i'm going to come back with part two once the resin has been applied and cured and we'll come on back with the um water slides and finish it up for you guys so 
I hope you really enjoyed um, part one of this little tumbler tutorial. I'm going to hold the tumbler here and speed it up so you guys can see um, it fully cracked and what it looks like when it's nice and dry. And I'll talk to you guys in our next video.